what are the what are the differences between these these guys that are coming out of college now and the ones that are, are winning medals internationally and competing you know for years on end internationally i i saw a few interviews like i, I still follow very closely what's going on in the us and and i I would, I would take two two examples. I think I would, uh, so I think Regan Smith was talking about the fact that she's lo loving the pro style. Right. And we see Leon Marchand decided to stay one more year in the Arizona process. Mm. Uh, I, I would say that uh, it's not a fit for everybody because uh, you, kids must understand that um, when, you, when you come inside a team, it comes with a lot of perks and a lot of privileges and a lot of fun, mm. but also with counterparts that you, you have to, um, set aside some part of yourself and give it to the team mm -hmm. and, and some people don't do so well with that which is fine you know you just got to understand it and some people cannot live without it that's probably one of the reasons why so many uh, kids want to stop after the NCA is not get involved some some might not be successful because they're so good in the water but I, I guarantee there's so many talents that stops and that don't even get motivated for the mm -hmm. long season from the long course season because they just love the team process. Right. I think there's a, there's, there's a, if you find a guy that just needs the team and the team can just um, makes him better, I think it's, it's fine. I was really, really, really happy to see that Leon took that decision. There's, there's a, to me, amateur sport is much better than professional uh, always because um, I see it from the coach's perspective when you start coaching professional, it means they have also other endorsements. And when you start um, planning success for your athletes, you start by putting dates where you don't have the availability of training mm. because they have to accept. So you, you start by narrowing mm. uh, your, um, your spectrum of, of improvement and y your chances of success. Mm. Other, when, when you actually say, okay, I'm yours. Uh, if I'm Leon, I say, Bob, I'm yours next year. Make me the best swimmer you can make me. Yeah. You know, and uh, and use your brain to make me better. You don't start by saying I'm turning pro. Uh, talk to my agent. This is what yeah. we're gonna do. This, yeah. you know, and 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 mm. to me now, the more and more, I just I just love the fact that uh, we judge performance not on the number of medals, but on the sense that the, the swimmer that you helped was he really close to his full potential or not? Well, am I really proud when the lights when the cameras turn off? Could have done better. Yeah. Could, have, could have helped him improve or should have said no to this endorsement. So that week he could have trained better. We could have prepared better for this competition. These kind of, these kind of questions that um, athletes should ask themselves. Yeah. Because when you enter the world of swimming, you don't do it. Uh, you're not a, a professional soccer player. You know, it's a very different kind of sport. And uh, I, my preference goes to, um, to the athletes that can remain as long as possible the amateur of the sport mm. because the minute they become a professional usually it's the minute that they don't really improve anymore they just uh, they just um, rely on what they have accomplished in the past sometimes they get lucky they, they perform pretty well but it, this is not how i judge my performance as a coach uh, and that's something i've learned as a swimmer that i've let so many things i probably would have never stand a chance to earn an olympic medal but i know that i could have done better and right, when, right. You, when you when your career ends, um, uh, then you you regret some of that stuff. So if I can send, if it's wisdom, I don't know. But if I can send a message every time you ask the question, try to picture yourself after your career and realize, was it the right choice? Was was a few thousand dollars worth mm -hmm. not getting that sense of accomplishments that you feel like have been have gone beyond what I could actually do, and I've surprised myself. Or did I just follow my career, follow my path and made some compromises along the way?